Hey, you guys, this is the Obstacle Team, and we are so thrilled to death to be here and to tell you a little bit about this project that we're making. And we want to know, do you want to be a part of it? You can be if you have how much money? One. Well, you don't only need 1.5 million. We can do a team-based yeah, yeah, investment. We'll do a team -based. <laughs> but I want to tell you a little bit about the the uh, people that we have on board who are awesome. I'm going to I'm pointing to the, uh, what do you call this, the Brady Bunch screen right here that it's on my uh, thing. Uh, Jason, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you want to be a part of this project. Hey there, everybody. I'm Jason Zalakis. I'm an L.A.-based actor. And, you know, I want to be a part of this project because of the great script and the great talent that come with it. And I also, I play the sexy tennis pro, a.k.a. <laughs> the obstacle in the movie The Obstacle. So I'm definitely excited to be part of it. Awesome. Leanne, who are you? I am Leanne Johnson. I am a Midwest-based actor. I also play Pam in the film. I'm a co-writer, co-producer, and I feel very passionate about this story because I feel like it presents a lot of conflict that's uh, respectful to real life. And so I feel like the audience can really engage with the characters and they won't expect what happens next. So this is definitely a good thriller and lots of twists and turns and everything for the female and male viewer. Drew. What do you do? You play anybody important in this in this movie? I'm Drew Russell. I play Brad Harbison, and um, it is a wild ride. Uh, I love thrillers, and this one really goes off the rocker. So I hope you jump on for the ride. Jeffrey Weissman, you are somebody that we've been hunting down and uh, trying to get on board, and we are so pleased that you want to be a part of this project. But you you're doing a ton of stuff. You're actually all over the world. Mm -hmm. Why on earth would you want to be a part of this project? Because you asked me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, it, it's a great script. It's a great team. Uh, it's an equation for wonderful storytelling. The uh, uh, first of all, I'm honored uh, to be in such great company. The the um, as you mentioned on another video shoot, uh, I look close enough to Andrew to play uh, Brad's father. And, you know, I I could probably bring to the table uh, a lot of also uh, production support since I've been, uh, I'm celebrating my 50th year in, in show business. Oh my God. So wow. just right out of the womb, you just, just popped yourself out and just started- Yeah, and I'm only 49. Wow, <laughs> that, is, that is insane. Amazing. Wow, I'm very, uh... Very thrilled about that. So, um, you guys, let's watch a little 93 second clip okay. of the obstacle. I sleep next to you every night. We have breakfast together every morning. I mean, what more do you need? Is our marriage just a joke to you? I've given you some pretty bad advice over the years, Pam. What was it? Revenge sex? I don't want you to have another breakdown. You realize I bailed on my anniversary dinner for that meeting, right? missing from that trailer that you want the audience to, to know about? Yeah, there's actually four and a half minutes missing that if you are interested in this story, we have a six minute proof of concept. I hope my math was okay there, but it's about a six minute proof of concept video that tells more about the story. We have an incredible script 
and a wonderfully comprehensive pitch deck that also tells you some of the actors that are very interested in being a part of this project. Awesome. Now, uh, Jeffrey, how many pitch decks have you seen in your life? Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, yes, I've seen all of them. And, and have you ever seen a better pitch deck than ours? It's very thorough. It's it's wonderful. <laughs> it's concise, and and inspiring. And it uh, it is really great to see the uh, encapsulating the the twists and turns of the story because it uh, it 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 has karma in it. It has uh, you know surprises, and and you really get get caught up with the the main character right away and and. Uh, and that's what you want to to have your audience uh, on the edge of their seat for the the whole ninety minutes or how long, however long it's going to run. Absolutely. And Drew, when people watch this at the movie theater and then they leave, what's the big takeaway? <laughs> Life decisions. Be careful. Uh, mm. That's right. That uh, was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and Jason, do you have a problem with the fact that we're casting you as the super sexy guy? <laughs> um, uh, I don't really know how to answer that. I mean, I, it, you know, I think it's, I think it's, uh, it, I, I guess the answer ultimately is no. Um, I mean, who's going to hate being the sexy guy? You know, when I tell people, you know, oh, I've been cast as the sexy guy, you know, and they go, oh, well, that sounds terrible. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, so I guess, no, I guess, it's a, you know, it's, of course not. It's a, it's a flattering thing to be considered sexy, I guess, in any form. And I, I'm very happy to do it. But you told me privately, you wish that people loved you for your mind. It's true. It's true. You know, it's it's one of those things. Hollywood's a very strange game. And, you know, of course, I, I want to be not just for my looks, but for my talent. And if my looks get me in the door and then they recognize my talent, I guess I have to take that. <laughs> yeah, we this take character, that. this character has both sexy and depth. What else could you want? It's a it's, great character. It's a great character, absolutely, and, and no doubt. And, and I'm, you know, I am, I, I am very honored, very flattered to be part of it. And well, we're honored to have you. So let's uh, wrap it up with Leanne. What, uh, what made you want to, basically you and I took a script that somebody else started, which was a pretty good skeleton, good backbone. Uh, then I did some stuff to it. You did some stuff. Mm -hmm. and you said, Jim, don't you dare say that. And then I said, oh, you're right. Uh, what made you want to be a part of this team? I really, well, I wanted to be a part of this team because I liked you. And That's I thought awesome. that you were, you, you guys really um, embraced me into the story and were thoughtful about um, the perspective that I have as a woman in entertainment and in the industry. And you were very welcoming of me coming on board to help create a little bit of a shift in those narratives to help represent um, women in a way that I think reflects real life. Um, you know, oftentimes those characters are accessories to the leads, they're plot devices to progress the story. And, uh, you know, for a theme, for a film that's centered on a male character, uh, I thought that to, uh, um, sort of to draw audiences, both men and women, we would want to also have female characters that that audience could relate to, or people could watch this as a couple. Um, they could take their girlfriends or their boyfriend to go watch. And so it just, it widens the demographic and makes the, the film more profitable for viewers because more people are going to want to watch it. And so I think that being proud of the story you want to tell, and we are storytellers, so. Absolutely. So many times, like, like I remember watching Breaking Bad and seeing, thinking, oh, this is a great, great story, but the Skylar character, very two-dimensional, a lot of the female characters, and then you've got movies and shows with great female characters, and then there might be no plot. So, uh, Jeffrey, would you agree that that uh, we got a little bit of everything that's going to probably bring in a big audience, and hopefully, even if people disagree on they love Brad, they hate him, or they, some people say, oh, that uh, Leanne's uh, Pam character mm -hmm. is, is not so cool. Mm -hmm. um, Jeffrey, would you say, as far as uh, you're a writer also, uh, would you say we got a lot of great ingredients in this little uh, uh, smorgasbord? 
I agree. Yes. You, you, you have some uh, well-fleshed characters. I, I have been on different projects where I've seen uh, actors and actresses fight for their characters to have more and they were often shut down in this. You're not going to see that because you've got uh, the, uh, how should I say, the struggle is real for their characters. You've got mm -hmm. uh, some good backbone. And I think also you're going to find on set chemistry to even advance on that stuff uh, with, with the directing and the acting, uh, you know, meshing on set. You're going to find moments that you probably don't see on the page. Uh, and, and you put together a great crew and a great team. Awesome. So, um, Jeffrey, if you were to ask somebody right now for money for this movie, how much would you want? As much as you can afford. Absolutely. Good answer. Yeah. Amen. Uh, or at least $1.5 million. Okay, yeah. guys, thank you very much. Give us a call if you're serious, if you want to be a part of this family. And it, it in any way, in many ways, it is a family. Am I right? Now, um, Jason, you have the last word. What are you going to say to say goodbye to our, our viewers? You know, I want to thank people. I know it's hard sometimes to, to make investments in Hollywood. And, you know, a lot of films that we that, that get invested for don't pan out. We got a great team. We got the right people behind this. And definitely this is one of those films that you're going to want to be a part of. You're going to want to say, I put my money into that. I was there for this movie. This is a great movie. And all the people involved in it are so passionate and so adamant about making films and making productions. We're going to see it through. Thank you. Awesome. All right, you guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you very much.